Right now, we're going to send it over to our Nicole Somavilla. She's been in Adams tonight. And Nicole, how are things doing there? Well, it's cold and it's certainly windy, and this lake effect snow is causing a lot of whiteout conditions and even some poor visibility. But it's nothing this region can't handle, and for some people, this type of weather is good news. It's not an issue at all. In fact, for ice fishers like Mike Ariola, the cold temperatures mean they're back in business after an unusually slow and warmer start to the season. Just guys are anxious. We didn't have the ice build up where guys could get on the water, so they just basically had to wait for the colder temperatures. Once they got here, fishing was really good. Now they're making up for all that lost time. While the roads are wet and the wind is blustery, they're finding peace and quiet on the ice. You're kind of secluded and you're, you know, out in this little shanty. With your buddies, having a couple of cocktails and just having a good time getting away. As a fisher who hits the water year round, Ariola says the snow doesn't stop ice fishers. The one thing they do have to watch, though, is the wind. You could be sitting there ice fishing in your shanty and a thing blows up. It's like the Wizard of Oz all of a sudden and it blows away on you. But if you have your shanty staked down and you head onto the ice with the right gear, Ariola says you're good to go. Because lake effect like this, well, he remembers it being much worse. We don't have weather like we used to when I was young. Well, we do have a ways to go before winter is over. So as always, whenever we see conditions like these, just take your time on the roads and definitely be safe and be careful. In Adams, Nicole Samavilla, News Channel 9.